Nancy, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Another successful project that you're bringing to us with Lady in the Lake. Thank you, I hope it's successful. Thank you for putting that uh, out there in the world. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, you're direct. You're the director of the series, but you're were you were also involved with the writing, and I'm curious to. I did. Yeah, I wrote the first two episodes, and obviously uh, six together with Sheila Wilson. We had a beautiful writers' room with, uh, um, and uh, um, um, also executive producer Boaz Yakin, who wrote episode five and the finale. So a group of uh, extremely talented uh, women, and uh, and um, yeah. Very, very lucky to have gone through this process with so many um, people who um, made the show feel so authentic and thought out and, and I think like brought a lot of perspectives on both the Jewish and the black communities into what we're doing. But it's also based on a novel. Absolutely. So Laura Lippmann, the, the Lady in the Lake uh, bestseller that Laura Lipman wrote started it all. But was she involved also with the team? No, she, she, um, she, uh, we met Laura on set for the first time. I met Laura on set for the first time. So wait, so what was that like? Was she there during the, during some of the, she uh, came to visit one day to see us film. Um, and she was brought to tears by the monitor. I was told, uh, we were very nervous about her watching obviously, and uh, respect her work and loved her book. So it was great to have her uh, come see us at, in action. And, uh, you know, she gave us a lot of freedom to reimagine the book, which I uh, greatly appreciated. Our uh, wish was to take the book, which was extremely focused on, on Maddie, and um, create a world around uh, Cleo Johnson, uh, in the book she's Cleo Sherwood, to really make the story of black Baltimore at the time uh, be understood better and seen better through this character too. Uh, but just to have it about these two women and how their lives just are sort of set on a collision course, you know? And uh, to me, that was, that was the thing, you know, just to get pulled in with all these twists and turns, but on the way to get to know these two women and what is what they have in common and what they can never bridge. What was it like directing two stories that are simultaneously going and playing along? Yeah, that was one of the challenges of this show was to keep something going that constantly pulls you in and sometimes you're not entirely sure what is the connection between the two stories until it all explodes in your face. <laughs> so that building that tension and, and uh, giving the, you know, the same amount of love, <laughs> I would say, and uh, to both of them um, was one of the challenges we were constantly trying to kind of um, work on it. and for me directing it because it was with two actresses that each one of them is such a supernova um it was uh it was beautiful because it was just two worlds that kept building and um and i i just i, I remember i would come back from set and take a shower at the end of the day and i would just feel the worlds growing you know each world growing and like kind of then at a, at a certain point in the show, they touch, and that felt really powerful, very kind of like, you know, the worlds are colliding <laughs> moment. Well, thank you for your time. I can't wait to finish the series. I'm in episode four, so. Oh, you have not even begun the ride. The ride is five to seven. Well, I can't spot, I speak spoilers anyway, so I had to stop myself. <laughs> yeah, you did well. Thank <laughs> Buckle you. Buckle up. <laughs>